Hello everyone, this is Sarpik and in this video we will be discussing about an active directory attack which is named as URL file attack. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and if you want to be part of my Discord community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. And also guys, if you end up liking this video, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff. So guys, uh, the attack that we're going to discuss for today is a URL file attack. So this is a pretty simple attack. So uh, we have like, we need to, uh, so the prerequisite in order to do this tool, uh, do this attack is like, you should have some sort of uh, SMB share access. So uh, share access. So you cannot uh, uh, like term this as like a post exploitation attack, but because like sometimes you will be able to like access the shares without even password. So there is some kind of misconfigurations there. But uh, if you ask me like this is like partly like a post exploitation attack, uh, even though you get some kind of like credentials of some domain user. So you can uh, log into log into his computer and you can access his shares and you can create a file. Okay, so the file that we are going to create is of this format. So this is called as a .url file. So this .url file, so all the links are in the description below guys. So this is the, a good resource of how to uh, check this out. Uh, so like uh, how this attack works out and stuff. So there is this uh, a code as well, a small code. And also you can see there is like something like uh, how to prevent auto opening of URL files. So dot URL files are intended to open automatically. Okay. So, uh, so that is what we're trying to do. What that is what we try to exploit. So what we do here is like, so once we get an SMB access, we create uh, a malicious, okay. Uh, dot URL file. Okay. So, and this dot URL file, as I told you, it, uh, like what happens in, in the sense like it just opens uh, auto opens by default okay so what we do here is like uh, if you uh, recall my previous videos where we discuss something called as llmnr poisoning so in the llmnr poisoning if there is some kind of mismatch or something like that so our responder catches it and it gives some spoofed response and with some kind like asking some current uh, hashes of the user who is accessing that so here if you observe this so what we do is like we create a malicious file and we upload it to share okay and we upload it to the share so share in the sense like if you take an active directory so there is going to be definitely share not like syswall or like not the default share so there is going to be some kind of a share uh, which everyone can access and uh, like see what happens in the sense like let us assume you have a user so i have a user called as f casual here so and my goal is to like escalate from f casual to administrator Okay, so I log in as an fcasual and I uh, I'll access the share. Okay, since it's an active directory, so there is a share called as Hackney. Okay, so there is this share. So what I do is like I log in as fcasual, I upload a malicious dot URL file. So with the code is this thing, and into this Hackney share. Okay, and I'll save it with the format like at at the rate and the name. So any name like test hello Satvik whatever it is, and with an extension dot URL. Okay, pretty simple. And what happens in the sense like, so when the administrator, okay, when the administrator, whether he can be on a domain control or whether he logged into other systems. So when he tried to access the share, okay, uh, we, uh, here it doesn't uh, require the administrator to open this dot URL file. As I told you, dot URL files open automatically. So it's like a configuration, like by default configuration. So when he opens it, so what we are doing here is like the code is simple. So we are requesting for the attacker IP. So attacker IP in the sense like our Kali machines IP and there is some icon. So this is, you don't need to worry about. So we are forcing LLMNR poisoning here. Okay, so that is what this attack is all about. So like, uh, as I told you, you should have an SMB share access. So you should be able to upload this dot uh, URL file. So sometimes uh, for some systems, it might not require like uh, login credentials. You can uh, access them anonymously and you can get and put those files. So in any case, it will work fine. So, and also guys, in order to demonstrate it, I'm going to like show this on my home network. And also, so as I told you, this auto opens, this dot URL files auto opens. So like uh, there are some few settings. Okay. So if you are like on the blue team side or something like that, you can uh, just change some few uh, registry options. So I leave all these links in the description below. You can do check that out so that it doesn't auto opens by default. Okay. But by default, it auto opens. 
okay so i have my uh, machine here so windows server 2019 so the uh, administrator okay and sorry uh, this is the windows 10 so you can see that uh, windows 10 so this is like assume it's a compromise system okay but also you can also upload these shares via using something like smb client and smb map as well but if you are into this uh, command line stuff but for example i'm showing it all in like system like this okay but you can always use something like uh, in order to access the share you can use something like smb map or smb client so you need to provide the va a valid username and credentials okay but sometimes if it doesn't pass you can just access it okay and you can upload it by using some command like put so put and the file name so create the file name within your kali machine and just uh, use put and the file name and it is going to be uploaded to the share okay so uh, that is it how you do but uh, since i'm going to show this on an act uh, like on a normal network so that uh, beginners also can understand it properly so first of all let us access the share so as i told you this network has a share name called as hack me so the share name itself is a hack me and also guys if you want to set up this kind of like network so uh, i'll leave the tcm's video so tcm's uh tcm made a video on how to create this active directory network so if you go to the file explorer and if you click on network so it is going to show up for you so guys once you click on the network you can see the domain controller name so this is the name of my domain control so just click over there and just choose the hack me uh, share so there are as i told you there are going to be some default shares within this active directory so like netlog on syswall and all this stuff so don't touch them so just go to the hack me which is like uh, a share which is created within the network so that the users can share and access the files or something like that so just create a uh, right click over here click on new uh, click on a text document so use it something like at the rate uh, something like uh, hello for example so this is a text file we'll change the extension in a while so just uh, copy paste the command that i've uh, the code that i've given so this is a small code uh, don't no need to worry it's like an internet shortcut you can see by name so just uh, i'll give it in the description or uh, the resource that i'm going to give it even consists that so you can just do that not an issue so uh, just go here and just paste it and try to find out your kali's ip so so guys i just pasted my kali's ip so you can give any ip but sometimes it may not work so if the firewall and stuff like that are there so it may not work so uh, just giving the kali's ip or your attacker's ip would do the work okay so control s uh, now you can just open it once again and you can click on file and you can save it as okay so by pre previously we saved it as like uh, uh, what you call a name like that with the talk text files but we'll go to the all files and we'll give the extension dot url at the end so we're just trying to change the file type that's it so if you click on save so you can see that there is going to be a different internet shortcut here so now what you need to do is like as we as i told you this is nothing but we are trying to force uh, to do this llmnr poisoning so we'll start this something called as responder so on the interface eth0 so this is my interface you can uh, so this is the interface where all this network uh, are on so let's so there is a tcp ldp server so let me stop that so i'm just stopping an as as, uh, as like service ldap service so cause it works like that so you can see all those are working fine check uh, as we are working with llmnr and smb and stuff so make sure check them they are on so now what you need to do is like go to your uh, like we need to wait here so this is a scenario where you need to wait so let us assume that your administrator on the domain controller or any other machine so if he just uh, tries to access the share you can say just click on the share and you can see that uh, i can see some responses here you can see i didn't even open okay if you observe i didn't even open that so and i logged into this domain controller as an administrator and i just accessed the share and you can see as it's a dot url file it just loads up by default and you can see you got a share uh, you got some kind of like a hash here so and then you can crack that hash okay that's pretty simple so you if you, you can go to something like ntlm v2 hash and you can just crack it so i'll just show you how to how you can do that as well so uh, this is my notes Uh, if you go to active directory attack and initial attack vectors llmnr poisoning so you can uh, use something like hashcat okay you can use a hashcat with an option high 5600 a module 5600 uh, you can hit ctrl c okay so i'll show you once again so just copy this hash okay 
so so i'll create a file nano hash dot txt okay so i'll delete everything or else i'll do one thing so rm hash dot so i'll open up once again i'll just paste it control s and control x so hash cat hyphen m 5600 okay 5600 or you can simply do like this so hyphen hyphen help and you can grab for uh, uh, ntlm so uh, this is an ntlm v2 hash so ntlm v2 hash like it requires 5600 options so let's not waste any more time so let's do it quickly so 5600 uh, hash dot text so i think everything is here for me so i'll just do this so the password is pretty simple in this case so it is going to be cracked in a minute or something like that but in real time the scenarios will be different and may um, will or may be different okay so the uh, so i'll just give you a quick brief so what we did is like so we are able to access a share uh, but here uh, i require i got some user credentials of fcasil and i was able to access the smb share which is named as hackme uh, which is strictly available in this network so if you are working on a different network so the share name may be different and my goal is like privilege escalation so fk from f casual to administrator or not only like uh, like uh, you may not always get the administrator privileges but sometimes you may get privileges of other users who is like much more uh, who has much more privileges than the normal the current user so even those cases you can use this and the code is pretty simple we created a shortcut uh, of with the extension dot url and we are just forcing it to uh, connect to the our kali machines ip and this is as i told you this is nothing but uh, like we are forcing an llm and our poisoning attack to perform and we started the responder with the, i'll just write it so responder hyphen i and eth0 so eth0 is nothing like if you are connected to a vpn so check out the interface which you are connected with and just replace that with and uh, you can so you all you do all you need to do is like you need to wait till the administrator access the share that's it okay so administrator or any other user accesses the share like the, as i told you there is no need for them to open that as well it loads up by default and uh, you can see you can get the hashes and you can crack it so that is it guys you can see the crack is also has it is password one so now i can uh, like you can feel like you compromise the domain controller cause you uh, compromise an admin uh, administrator account so you can use psx evil win rm or any other tool and with this with this help of this uh, uh, like uh, credentials you can just log in and you can do whatever you want so that is it guys for this video so all the links and all the resources will be in the description below you can feel free to check them out and if you have any doubts or anything like that just comment below or connect me via discord and you can ask your doubt there and i would be happy to help and uh, really thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you